Klar. ¿Me estáis escuchando? Hola, ¿me estáis escuchando? Hola, Vicky, ¿me escuchas? Hi, how are you? I'm fine. Okay. Do you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, great. Uh, we're going to wait a bit, okay, because uh, I know people are uh, normally, you know, <laughs> joining uh, a little bit later. So we're going to wait like two minutes, three. And um, meanwhile, uh, if you want, you can tell me about you a bit to know you better. Oh, okay. So um, I say I'm a home baker. I just started. So um, just trying to, how you say, get into different things and see, see what I can do. And then when I had store a couple of things from you, I got very interested. So then you offered a class and I said, I wanted to try it and see. That's great. Where are you from? Brooklyn, New York. Ah, that's nice. <laughs> that's nice. Uh, there's snow nowadays, right? It is snowing. freezing. Uh, I read the news and I was like, oh my God, here in Spain, I'm living in Spain and uh, here it was uh, like three weeks, like three weeks like ago in uh -huh. Madrid and all that. It was a really snow storm there. And uh, yes, but I'm living close to the sea, I mean to the uh, Mediterranean Sea and it is like... Um, not so close to the center of, uh, of Spain. So here it's a little bit more warmer, the weather, but yes, we have, we have rainy, day, uh, rainy days nowadays. Um, so yeah, we don't get the snow, but we get rain. <laughs> no, we get more snow this week. Yeah, Do you, can you see the, the top one? Can you see it, the image from top? No, just see, I just see you and the table. Okay, but you, the table, you mean here, but not yeah. from the top? Right, from the table, not from on top. Can you move to see the page? You see if you see the, the, the top view? No, just from where okay. you see. Okay, so then what I'm going to do, one second, I'm going to say, to put this, if you can see it. Okay. Oh, yes, now, I see it now. Mm -hmm. But you see me? I just see your hands. Only my hands, but you, you just don't see my, uh, the view you had before, right? The avocado. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. That to know, because when we're going to show some stuff, I'm going to put it uh, like this. So yes. you can see it. I'll try my best to not, okay, you see, to not get so much light. One second. Then the sheets. Let me see if I put it like this, it is too dark, right? Let me see. I'm waiting, let's see. It's too light. Here it is like, it's, uh, here it is like 5 p.m., yes. right? Mm -hmm. And uh, the sun, it is like, but yes. the, the view, this view, you see it good, right? You don't I see it very, problems. yes, perfect. It's clean, right? It's better without that bright which it was making before, right? Yes. Anyway, you see here it is coming the sun, but it's very 
you know, like uh, strong and it's uh, like burning the image, you know? Oh, so, okay. That's why I, I put the, I cover the windows a bit because it's impossible to, to give the classes the sun in my eyes. So I have it in front, so it's difficult. Anyway, let me see if there is anyone. Well, um, I think because of the timing, yesterday we had the, the Spanish class and we didn't have so much uh, delaying because uh, people, are, I mean, like they were from here, but may, most probably the English one, which it is, what time is it there? It, it must be like 10 a.m. or what time? It's 11. 11, 11 right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So people uh, normally, most of the people, they don't join live. They join after that, they see the recorded class. But anyway, so I think we're going to start because um, if anyone, it will, uh, it will come, so we'll be joining. So I'm going to, to use Avacam now. And um, okay, can you see both of them now? No, I don't see the table. I just you see you. Uh, you see me now, right? Yes. Okay. okay, perfect. Like this, I can, uh, I can just move. Okay, one second. I'll try to put one more light here. Meanwhile, let's see if it's going to be more bright. I don't want to. But this is artificial light, so. Maybe it will, I can redirect it to the way I want to. So, see? It's not so bad, no? It's okay, it's better. I had this part to, with the shadow, so I just wanted to, to put a bit more light. Anyway, so uh, we're going to start, okay? My name is uh, Joanna. I'm from Swiss by Joanna. Uh, I think uh, mm, you already know me from Instagram, right? Yeah. <laughs> you guys? <laughs> And um, yes, normally I dedicate myself to, to cake designs, okay? And uh, yes, sometimes we are, I'm, I am, uh, because I'm alone, <laughs> I'm working alone. I'm um, making um, edible designs with uh, isomal. We have a class with isomal before, uh, with the chocolate, with the waffle paper, with... Um, uh, rice paper, so all of these, they are edible, and you can use it in your cakes, in your cupcakes design, you can, um, you know, uh, work with them uh, safely, and uh, you can uh, provide to your customer different designs, which are edible, and they are very easy to work with, as long as you know the technique, the right technique, because it's very easy, it's not something um, really hard, but yes, uh, you have the to to take in count some. Uh, okay, one second. Sorry, someone is uh, waiting to enter. I'm just going to accept. Uh, hi, Samantha. Anyway, so um, what we're going to learn today is to temper our buttercream. Uh, buttercream. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, to, no, no, I used with my buttercream classes uh, because uh, <laughs> to temper our chocolate, okay? And use it on uh, transfer sheets, okay? So the transfer sheets, it's, um, it's like a sticker, okay? It's like um, uh, a printed image with uh, in a mirror. Always we have to take this in account that the image is not, you're gonna see it now, Perfectly, you know, for example, I'm going to show you, but as it is a cam, you see it? Yes. Like this. So you want to see it? 
great. But uh, yes, um, we always have to use the acetate uh, part, you know, where's the plastic one, not where it is the rough part, you know, it is the uh, choco butter, you know, it's a butter which it is uh, imprint on, on the acetate paper. So there it will be um, very, it's like, with a bit of heat, we can use the same ones for merengues, okay? We can use the, the, the transfer sheets for merengue we have and we have for chocolate. And you know, the merengue which we make in the oven, uh, we have to, to, to heat them a very uh, low temperature. So it will transfer very nicely without problems. So the same thing happens when we add a warm chocolate to this image and we put it in the fridge and let it chill but we have to let it chill well that image to can get printed or stick it whatever you want to call it on the on the chocolate okay yes so um it's always it's very flexible Okay, and uh, we have to take in count, like I said, in uh, when we work with numbers and letters, that uh, to put the image straight, seeing like when you're gonna pick up the the design, the way you're going to pick it up, okay, it will be like the letter not upside down, you know, it has to be straight. So we, we always going to 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 think that it's a mirror image okay yes anyway so one more thing what are we going to i don't know if samantha can me hear me i'm going to okay to say hi to her hi samantha hi there. Hi. Hi there. nice to have you here okay uh uh, we already start. Don't worry about it. Um, many people didn't join because I know many of them they will not be able to join because of the time. But yes, you will gonna have the recorded version. So what that you didn't hear before, we didn't talk much. Uh, you'll see it after that in the recorded class. Okay. People. That's great. Uh, the chocolate transfer is tasteless, okay? It doesn't taste of nothing, it is flexible. Um, you can decorate curved um, images, I mean like superfaces and uh, without problems. It is like very, very flexible. And uh, it's preferable to use white chocolate, okay? You can use dark chocolate too. But yes, uh, when we're gonna use dark chocolate, for example, this design which are dark, okay? It will be like, um, you'll not be visible when you're gonna put a black chocolate or, or dark chocolate, a brown chocolate. It will, the Valentine's, which is a bit in here, it will totally like, almost disappear. So it's preferable to use light colors, okay? Or white, especially, especially white. But yes, we, if we have a clean image design uh, and or we have a dark image design like black with, um, with um, white and we want to, to use the brown one, we can use it. But yes, I prefer to recommend you to use the white chocolate always because like this, the design to be perfectly visible and uh, you'll not lose any details from the design, okay? Might be having problem by, by losing, um, you know, it will be poorly def defined and all that. So yeah, uh, it's, you know, it's a paper, like you see the chocolate transfer is a sheet. On one side has a thin acetate sheet and the other side, side has a rougher, you know, layer covered with uh, cacao butter. Okay, I'm going to try to put this one on top. Like this, you're gonna not have problems. Let me see. Uh, I'm gonna put the other cam. Let me see. Okay.
Now you see it? Can you see it from top? Yes, I can see. Great. So if you can see it, it's better. Like this, you can see it, like show it to you better. Uh, so like I was telling you, it is uh, one part, it is thin and acetate sheet and the other part has uh, a rougher, uh, rougher layer covered with cacao butter. And this is cacao butter. That will be the side that will we be later transfer the chocolate, you know? I mean, like we're going to put where it is the cacao butter, the chocolate, and it will transfer with the heat of the cacao, of the chocolate, it will come and it will get printed to the to the chocolate we're going to we're going to add. Um, we have to work with very careful, you know, uh, to be very careful to work with this size because it can be scratch or something and we can lose the design. I think it's very, very sensible. Uh, we have to, to handle it with great care. So uh, if you scratch it, the printed drawing will be erased. So uh, we have to, you know, to be very careful when we're going to use it. Um, for making our choco transfer decoration, we are first going to uh, cut our choco transfer sheets. Okay, the size we're going to use for our uh, molds. You know, we're going to use some molds or not, depending on uh, what we're going to do. And uh, if we need to make perfect circle, circles or, um, you know, uh, rounds, uh, we have, for example, in this case, we can use a cutter, cookie cutter, okay? I'm going to show you some. And let me see. We have the hard ones if we want to use in a hard form, or we can use this one, which is the round one. Okay, they are like round and they are, um, I'm going to put this here and I'm going to show you uh, a part of the cutters. I'm going to show you the, um, the molds that we're going to use too. So with the cutter, with the cutters, we can use the forms we have and select them. But in this case, it's preferable to, it's already defined. So in this case, we can cut it easily. We don't need a cutter. But yes, if we're going to use this design, for example, okay, this one. So to make a, a round shape, we have to, to check the size of it, I'm going to show you some. For example, this lollipop small, it is five centimeters, you know, um, the size. So we have the five centimeters, I think it is like um, 1.9 inches. Okay, so if you take one, which it is, I think this one, yeah. It will be perfectly entered, but we don't want to make that because when we're going to cut it, we'll not be able to do it. So we're always going to cut half of the centimeter less. It will be like uh, better to use one, which it is, this one is 4.2. This is like 1.6 inches. So when you're going to use it like this, we'll have a bit of space to can put the cut images then inside without to face any problem because we are not going to cut it perfectly because we don't have a, a special machine to cut. We, we don't, uh, it's very hard to cut the acetate paper with anything which it is not a, a scissor. Uh, this is not um, actually an easy thing. So we have to use the scissor to can be able to cut it. And um, one more thing, 
I'm going to show you. I'm going to use a ruler and the thermometer. So I'm going to use this thing. It will help me and a scissor. Okay. So what I'm going to do, when I'm going to start, we go, I'm going to help myself by the, the cutter for in this case, now we're going to check this out, the this, this signs. But in this case, for example, I'll just take the cutter and I look for the image I need. And with something, with a needle or something, which it has a sharp part, doesn't need to be a pen or an edible pen. It has to only to mark the, the round of the circle around the, the cutter. Now I'm going to show you. And this tool will help me to know where I have to cut. If you see it, shows me where I have to cut with the scissor. And it's preferable to make it, for example, shorter. Like this, we don't have to handle all the paper. Okay. Let's get stuck on it. So we just take it and carefully we have to cut it because if not, we'll not be able to put it inside nicely to not and to get transfer. Beautiful. Okay. For example. We have to be careful because this is if you cut a bit, it's going everything. So now you have the round and a made, and you take your mold, and um, you have to put always in the size, especially when it is a design like with uh, a stick, you know, like a lollipop. In this case, uh, we have to look that where is coming the stick. The letter has to stand up and to be upside down because it will not like the part of the sticker it will have to be like in the mirror okay and always if you don't uh, don't don't only don't forget that we have to have the rough part on top because there it will get printed to the chocolate okay so we just put it like this and we have it preparing it for the the lollipop, we can do this or we can do this. My God, it, this is getting stuck. So I have to try to find something because, okay, I don't want to cut it. We're going to take the, this one and I'll show you how to cut this one. This is really nicely. This will give very beautiful design. And this is very versatile. This. Uh, um, these designs are already made with the sizes and everything, and you can find it in in the in the um, in the side of Sugar Art Canada. And uh, yes, if you want a special design, you can order it too. You have the part of uh, customized, but uh, these ones are already made and they are really nicely to use. And you just need to. To just cut it and nothing you don't have to do nothing so the same thing i have the paper so this one it has to come with a rough part on top and touch the chocolate when i'm going to add it and put the sticker here it's already doesn't matter the form you're going to take because i don't have letters and numbers so like this is not going to be any problem. For example, we can take one more like this. It's beautiful. It's really nice. But yes, you have to work carefully with it because you might be scratching without uh, uh, wanting and uh, it will um, it will uh, it will break the design. So it has to be careful especially with needles and uh, long nails. Yes, but uh, I do not uh, recommend you to use gloves when you use the acetate paper, only 
uh, when you take the chocolate and the design out, okay? Because it's very delicate to work with. So gloves, it will make it uh, harder. <laughs> so it just with clean hands and nothing else. Okay, so the same thing, we just put it okay, up here. Can you see it well, guy? Okay, I think it's someone waiting to enter. I just add it. So we have prepared this one, okay? We prepared this one for, uh, for uh, this design. And now, if we want to make perfect um, squares, for example, or this type. Hi, Cindy. Can you hear me? I don't know if she's available. Hi, Cindy. Nice to have you here. Hope you hear me. So when when we have uh, this type of molds and we want to to put the design inside, okay? So what we have to do, for example, this one, no? This is a nice one for Valentine's. Actually, happy Valentine's to all of you guys. Uh, <laughs> I all totally forgot today's Valentine. Now I saw the sheets and I remember it. So we're going to check out, you know, the size of this. I have, uh, this ruler in centimeters, we don't have uh, inches here. So I'm going to take it and check out. It is two and a half and five centimeters. So this it is like one, almost one inches and uh, 1.9 inches. So what I'm going, I'm going to do, I'm going to take two and a, four and a half to can put the square then inside. So I'm going to cut, for example, one part of this design, for example, this one, because it's repeating, like this, I can use the other two for our design. We always try to cut it with a good scissor. Like this, you will not have problems to baguette. If you have a bad scissor, uh, it's preferable to not use it because uh, it will scratch the design. So here we are. I'm going to take. Here I have four and a half, five and a half. Okay. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to take like four and a half, which it is here, okay? Four and a half, it is here. I'm going to scratch it a bit to see where it is because I'm going to cut it there, okay? So I put a mark here. I don't know if you guys see it, okay? So what I'm going to do, it is make this line straight. It's okay if it's not perfectly, if this is not going to be a problem, only if you want to use a, a different way of making it like, but yes, it's preferable to make it like this. And yes, four and a half. And I'm going to make one more here with it. It's going to be like two. Okay, this it will be like two. Don't forget to use the rough part because it's not going to mark in the plastic. So we use the rough part to, to mark it because there it is going to be the cut which you want to make it. This is getting stuck to the, to the silicone mat. So what I'm going to do it is just if I want to make it bigger, I'm going to use like this. Yes. One second. Okay. Yeah. 
So every time we don't need to, uh, to make the same, we have these ones. So what are we going to do? It is take this paper, which you already measured, and we keep on cutting all of them. And like this, you don't have to keep on, oh my God, you have to be very careful. And anyway, we were going to make like two, three, but this it will continue till we finish. One day it will come a real cutter for the acetate paper. We're going to have our life safer because this is like <laughs> very troubling. But yes, we can put it here, yes. So like this, we just prepare it to use the design. And it's perfectly fitted inside. So like this, you don't have problem. One more we have here. So yes, we let it apart. We're going to let it apart, okay? And we're going to use a different design, but yes, we're going to prepare it, but I'm going to show it to you before. With these shapes of heart, for example, we have round one. I have uh, one with rounds and this one. Let me see. Check this out. We have here more molds. So I'm going to show you for you to see that you have a lot of variety of using it now. So we have this round, which it is uh, fitting perfectly in the design. We have the small ones, okay? With this one is like one inches, I think is 2.6. This is the almost 1.4. This is like 1.6. And they have a lot of uh, more design. You can find it in, uh, in, uh, in any, um, any, page, but uh, yes, this one, especially they are from Sugar Al Canada. And you have this design oval and the round one. Okay, so you can use it the same thing like this one. You can small chocolate for um, dessert table or something which you want to, to use. Don't forget, now I'm going to repeat myself, to use, when you use the design, to put it with the rough part on, you know, uh, outside like this, it will uh, get printed. So yes, we have these shapes of heart, which is going to make a small charms for us. You can use it like charms. So for example, this one, you can use them to make these designs, okay? So you just add chocolate here and uh, in, with a scrapper, we're going to make it very straight and we're going to let it chill and the image it will get print. And when we're going to take it out, we have the perfect form and the side, I mean, like it will be like a thick, uh, thin one, but yes, it will be perfect for using for a cake decoration or for your cupcakes decoration, okay? So what I'm going to do, it is to put it apart to use it in the next time. And the, never this, the other design we're going to use to make it is the deep toreo. Well, this is um, a big size. You know, you have to uh, have at least uh, the oreo. Normally, it's coming like uh, 1.6 inches. So you have to have a mold which it is like more than two inches to can enter your Oreos inside with the chocolate and to not, uh, to cover them in, uh, totally. So this it is like um, 2.3 inches and uh, it's very helpful. So what we're going to make for this design, for example, we can use this, uh, let me see the size, if we can use it, yes, we can use it. But uh, if we're going to use a design like this, maybe it will enter totally. Yes, this is nice. 
So what we're going to do, the same thing like before, taking a cutter, but we're going to use the five one because the one the one it was like four, six. So this is, is perfect. We're going to take the five inch, uh, five centimeter one, which is, is 1.9 inches. And we're going to mark it and use it for our, uh, for our mold. So we prepare everything. And after that, we go with the chocolate to, to make it the perfect and temperate. Okay, so we let everything settle only to use the chocolate when it's already tempered. Okay, let's see. The same thing like before, we're going to mark the design, the part of the circle of the round we want to cut. Okay, doesn't have to be perfectly, but yeah, you can see the shape. So like this, it's not going to have problem. Okay, let me see. Yes, here. Okay. And uh, when we have cut, we put them inside of the cavities of the mold with the rough part, which it is the one with the cacao butter and uh, facing upwards, okay? Like uh, this is like what I was explaining before. The same thing, I'm going to use a couple of them. And it's very important to, to not scratch it. Okay. So we're going to try to put them facing upwards always. In this case, it's no problem because uh, we don't have no, no letters and number. I don't know if you guys see it. Let me see if I put our count to see it better. Okay. So we can see it like this. We make one more. And we are done with the, with the cutters and all that because uh, we're going to make the other design without any cutter, which is going to be the design for the decorate our buttercream cake and the sale one. Okay, which I'm going to show you. Here who we have. Anything and let like two of them because it will be many decoration. It will take a lot of time to to cut all of this. So we're going to make like a samples, like a couple of each, and it's okay. Like this, you can see how actually it's working. Okay, same thing. We're just going to put this with the rough part upwards. And uh, now we're going to temper our chocolate. Okay, so that our decoration and our treats have more shine like this, it will be more shiny. They actually we temper for shine, better texture and uh, easier and unmold. It will help us to unmold them better. Do you guys have any question? Till now, no question. Any doubts? Anyway, so we're going to use another design, for example, this type of design. We're going to use it to make an, uh, uh, a normal uh, lollipop without mold, okay? So we're just going to use it and we're going to stick and you're going to see how easy it is to use it. They are already prepared design. This one, it is a design which we already used half yesterday for the cake I'm having in the fridge. We need a cold buttercream cake. You can use, for example, uh, you can use it on your, um, uh, you can use it uh, on your, um, Okay, you can use it on your uh, fondant cake too, but yes, you have to stick it with chocolate. So we're going to stick it with chocolate too. 
And we're going to make a design for a sale, for example, a, a different form of sale. So we're going to use it. Like this will not have problems. Yes, these ones are for the transfer and the chocolate. So now we're going to use the chocolate. We're going to use white chocolate. Okay, in the class, we're going to use the white chocolate. In the same, you have the document where how you going to make with the same procedment or in the dark chocolate if you going to use it on transfer sheets, but preferably I recommend you the dark chocolate for transfer sheets. But yes, you can temper your dark chocolate. So like this, it will not be a problem. So I'm going to the Udava camp now for you two guys to see. It. Okay, can you see it now? I'm going to bring a special bowl for microwave. Okay, it's really important to have a good one. Okay, like for example. And uh, you can use a silicone one or you can use a uh, crystal one. But yes, uh, it's very important. And try to make your chocolate in small pieces like this, it will help to melt faster, okay? So we are going to put about uh, like two parts of the chocolate, the quantity you have to melt. For example, if you wanna use like um, 500 grams of chocolate, you just, uh, melt 350 a bit from the 500 and now about 150 we're going to to add it in the end so we're going to melt it uh, at the uh, intervals of uh, about 15 to 20 seconds and always stirring in each interval until uh, reaches 40 or 42 celsius degrees okay so we're going to need a thermometer which is going to help us to control it. So slowly, we have to stay, you know, um, you know, uh, and uh, stay careful and see the when we melt the white chocolate. Especially white chocolate is very easy to get burned. So it's preferable to not, uh, I think, uh, okay, I think that stuck, the image. Everything okay? Can you hear me? I can hear you, right? Can you guys hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Ah, that's great because I see the image got, uh, got, got got frozen. Can you see me? I don't know. It's the connection. I think the problem. Yes, she me. Okay, you can see my top view, or you can see the face one in front, which you can see now because I think it is, uh, they change automatically. Okay. So what we're going to do, it is to steer this in each interval, we're going to use it like this. It will not be a problem to get because always, the part from here, the the bottom, it will get uh, always faster, you know, burn because the ball it will get hotter before on the on the crystal. So we have to be careful. Okay. 
I'm going to bring it. We have to use a painting bag or we can use it directly, like small intervals. And we're just going to check out the temperature. I think with the heat of the other parts of the chocolate, which is already melted, it will melt the, the ones which are a little bit hard too. So when we have it completely melted, we're going to add the remaining part, which it is like 150 grams, okay? And we're going to melt it too. Here I have the one which is still preparing. It can be added. Mm -hmm. Okay. So carefully, we're going to add each piece. It is 10 grams. So we have 30, 40, 50. We're going to mix it and we're going to check out the temperature. If it's necessary to reach to 40, 42 degrees, which is going to be, now I'm going to tell you what it is. And fire high. This is in Fahrenheit. Okay, so I'm going to put it in Celsius first. And like this, we can, I can tell you which exactly it is in Fahrenheit because I imagine you guys use that measure more. It is in 26 now. So if we see if it's necessary to, to increase it, but yes, still it's not uh, finishing. We're not going to hit it more. 28. I'm going to bring the flipping bag. This is very important to use. Uh, uh, with printing back because so we need to hit it a bit more like 20 seconds not more okay to, to bring it to the perfect uh, temperature Can you see me? No, he no sound, so I I have the sensation the connection got cut. Okay, we're going to check the temperature again. Very important to check out all the time and to have this super shiny chocolate. And we have to let it rest a bit like this, uh, uh, you know, Like this, it will uh, give a good result. But yes, when we when we're going to reach to the um, uh, twenty six, after that we have to put it down thirty five. Okay, that's good. It's going up. 
After that, we, we have to keep on steering it till we reach 26. Once it is in 40, it's like, let me see how much is in Fahrenheit. 95 Fahrenheit. It is like 36, 45. Okay. We need to heat it a bit more. It's very important to make it slowly than to make it uh, all at once because uh, chocolate is always getting burned fast, the white ones. For sure. So one more time, till it's reaching 40. And when it's reaching 40, we're just going to stir it till it's getting down the heat. That is Okay, that's all. I think it's perfect now. Let me see. Okay. This process has to, we have to have passion, <laughs> a little bit of patience and all that, because if not, it's not, uh, it's not going to, to give good results. One, one other thing which I want to comment to you, you can use candy melts, you know, or any uh, artificial chocolate, white chocolate, but you don't have to, you don't have to, to temper it because it's already ready to use. It's uh, if you guys like it more than white chocolate, always white chocolate, it will taste better because there is the real white chocolate. But yes, um, this is like everything. It's like 199. So we're going to now just start stirring till it's going to reach down the temperature. So what we're going to do, it is like keep on moving it. Get down till 26. This it will help to break the crystals of the cacao which we have in our chocolate. And <coughs> make our chocolate more flexible, more dry. And when it will get, it will get easier from the mold when we're going to unmold it. So yes, but yes, it's very important to keep on stirring without rest till drops till mm, 26. We can check it out. The temperature now, it is in still hot, 32, 33. So we need to stir more till it's getting to 26. This is, instead of using that special table for tempering chocolate, we don't have this in our homes. You can make it home like this way and break that crystals which are inside of the chocolate because of the cacao. So make it smooth. And all the these details, you have it in the document who I think you guys receive it from, uh, with the email from the Sugar Arcana. Missing. Still a little bit hot, but yes, it's getting a bit down. Okay, we still have to keep on moving it. 
can always try to make it break. to try to bring a bit more light for you to see. One second. to check out temperature now. We still have 31 degrees. So yes, we still have to get down more. It's very important to make the, the temper Cement perfectly, that like this, do not have problems. Hmm. Very important, like this, we chill it. It's a way of chilling it. You see? Let me see if I put this one, this calm. Okay, so you can see how to chill it and move it always, constantly. Like this, it is very important. This process meant it is like very <laughs> uh, slow, but yes, it's worth it. You don't have to stop till it's not reaching. 36. It's the same thing when we're going to make it on the table, but yes, with the spatula. Yes, it is in 28 now, 29. Yes, went down. So we have to continue. We're going to need to go down only to three, between one and two grad degrees. Yes, pretty fast, easy. We already made the hard work. So now when we're going to have it, we're going to put it to the peeping bag and just use, it's ready to use to, to make. Yes, if you guys prefer use candy melts without making this procedment, yeah, you can make it without it. And you don't have to, to, to lose this time, but yes, definitely do not be the same thing using a white chocolate than a, a artificial one. to cost because it is uh, 2014, it is like You can see that it's very smooth and it's very silky, super bright. You cannot see it there, but yes, it is bright. And uh, this is the best part of it. We have 28, yes, it's okay. So now we're going to make one more experiment and just let it done. 
for using it. Perfect. All right. 26, 26. So we're going to put like very, very less in the, in the microwave, like for a few seconds to reach 29 back. So that's ready to use. This it is a procedure. This is very less, a few seconds, I mean like not more. Okay. That's all. We can use it just twenty nine. Perfect. Twenty nine. So ready to use. So now we're going. What we're going to do? We're going to take out a glass to can fill our chocolate uh, our dipping um, back with the chocolate so I think you can find it easier to make it. let me see if I have one here for example this one which it is easy to it's a large one so there is no problem. I'm going to put the other cam for you to see it well. So what are you going to do? Put it inside as much as you can. And we're just going to fill our bag. Carefully, because sometimes it's going to cost us more because it is a lot. But yes, we have to put it all inside. After that, once we temper the, the, the chocolate, I keep on saying buttercream because <laughs> I work a lot with the buttercream. So once we temper our chocolate, we can help uh, keep it get warm by the microwave. So we're going to heat the entire bag when we're going to need to warm it up. But yes, we already have the, the bag filled with the tempered chocolate. So there's no problem. One more thing. Close this back. And it's ready to use for our necessity. We can use a scrapper for, for the Sales or we can use um, spatula, angular spatula. These two things we're going to need. Them. Okay, so just to clean this up.
So we already have the mold prepared. For example, this one, what we're going to do, it is to fill it. We're going to fill half of the cavities of the chocolate mold. And uh, we tap the mold on the table to take out the air. Be careful. Now we'll see. So carefully. Because it's very important to take the air out. Uh, if there's any bubbles, you know, between the, the cacao butter of the sheet and, uh, and the chocolate, the drawing, it will not be transferred. So it's very important to make this possible. I'm going to tap it. Totally get. We're going to put a very small, thin part, okay? We are not going to put more because in this case, we're going to put Oreo cookies inside. But yes, we don't want to have a very uh, big uh, bottom of chocolate. We want it thin. And the same with the, with the top one. So it's very important to eat it well. What I use a lot is, is this type of uh, table. So you now, helping. Example, this one, it is for cutting the bread or whatever. So you just put it, help yourself by it, and you tap it. So like this, it is perfectly, you know, that went everywhere. So what we're gonna do, for down, we're going to take an array of chocolate, put it in the middle, try to fit it in the middle, I'm going to put this a little bit more down. Maybe you guys are going to see it better. Okay. Can you see it well? Okay. Let me see. And another one here in the middle. And we cover it with chocolate, but not more than to be with a thin layer. We don't, we don't want to put a big part of chocolate, so we have to control it. Okay. It's almost filled. Necessity on pocket or more. A bit more. You see, and you can help yourself with this spatula and put it a little bit on on bottom of this. That's perfect. It is like bubbles. And with this thing, we can take it out, help ourselves with anything which you have, a needle or anything sharp. So. Now we're going to take it to the fridge. We have to let it settle 
well because like this, um, like this, it will um, the transfer it will be transferred, and in the like the chocolate it will get printed. And we're going to continue with the other one. Very important. Make this procurement. So here we have this one. She's going to fill it. But we're going to fill only two because I want to show you a different technique of filling. Okay. We can fill on top and we can fill the bottom. I mean, like we can print the top and we can print the bottom. So what we're going to do is the same thing. Taking the bubble, you can see here, there are bubbles coming out. So very important to tap your mold. It is taking all the vowels out. This is very important. In pimping back, we usually we add a lot more air than we add with a spoon. You can use a spoon if you don't want to use, but yes, uh, the chocolate will get cold faster if you have it in an open recipient container. So like this, it will be easier. So what we're going to do, instead of putting here, I'm going to just tap it and put it here. Always now, I always told you to put it upwards, but now we're going to put it down. One more, like this, to get and we're going to touch it a bit like this to get stick all the chocolate on top. Okay, this is another way. With the part of plastic, we're going to put it up. And the acetate chocolate, uh, cacao water on touching the chocolate. So here it is a bubble. Okay. So now we're going to take it to the fridge. We have on top, on the bottom, we have a design. So like this, we can put it to get chill. Let's see the next one. I'm going to let them down. We have to use some. You have some plastic stickers, or you can use the ones which are like this. So we're going to take out three of them. And just feel. Okay. It is super shiny. Yes, it's not appreciable so much, but yes, it is. So the same process, copy, take out the bubble. Lot of ones we are entering. So we help to take them out easier. This is the same procedure like the macarons ones. <laughs> we have to take that bubbles out. If not, the print it will not get well. Not even on top, not even on, on the bottom.
So we're going to use the stick and move it. Now we're going to put more chocolate, but here's the sticker. We have to add cover it inside and move it. going to take it to the fridge too. going to use this design to make our charms, small charms for using it. Yes, but what we're going to do, if we see this, it is pretty cold. So we're just going to take it to microwave for 10, 15 seconds, like it is in the bag, just to warm it up, not to, to heat it. Okay, because we need to have a right temperature. So let's see a bit more. proper to fully color and try to not move it a lot because like this it will not be removed the design. This excess only we have to put it in, an hour, in our bowl and we can reduce it. Okay. Like 
this we are not going to have problem. Let any spots without feeling. All we want to do is to let it almost straight. So we're going to use the same procedure of the tapping because if not, we cannot. Uh, it properly. So we're going to take one part from here carefully. And that's all. perfect. Like this, we're going to put it in the fridge too. And the final design, this one, one of those, we can use our chocolate to make a lollipop. We're going to give the shape of it and completely cover the heart with chocolate on the edges board. So Even if it's remaining like this, is no problem because we're going to use stick for it. So. That's all. It's almost done. Okay, it has to be, we have to put it to get perfectly. On the part of the sticker, I mean, it's better to put an extra chocolate like this, it will be stronger to not fall. Okay, so same way we're going to take it to the fridge, very important, and let it chill. All the bubbles, we can take them out. Perfect. 
that we're going to make. And we can. So now, well, what we're going to do, it is to use these designs for our cake. So I'm going to bring you to see my cake and I'm going to measure everything. Okay. Let's see. Like this, you can see the cake. So what we have to do here, we have the cake. So you will not see it there. So I will put the avocado available. So we make this part yesterday with chocolate. Okay. I think I'm going to need to can move this from. I'm going to watch this a bit. One second. can see it will be hard for me to move it like this one second not let me because the silicone it is very sticky maybe with this one it will let me yes with this one this sharp one so you can see we put half of the design yesterday showing the same technique but now what I want to make it is to put this part you know like this I'm going to put it so I want to measure this to be able to cut it here and to be this way like this so I think here it is the answer. I'm going to cut it straight here. Okay. Because it will be a bit more down. Perfect. Yeah. Right. To be like this. I want to make this for to can work with. So what I'm going to do now I have measured this. 
what I'm going to do it is take this to the fridge because I want this cake to not be with condensation and nothing. So I want it cold. So I'm going to keep it in the fridge. Meanwhile, I'm going to put the chocolate. So we're going to put the design in the other part. But have to measure this, that to enter perfectly. So I'm going to take this part. Going to warm a bit the chocolate. It's very important to be warm enough. And I'm going to fill this part with chocolate. So let's keep this a bit clean. So, very carefully, we're going to try to put it everywhere. We're going to put this to not move it very hard because we don't want to scratch the top part. We just move it slowly, only to cover. Try to, to fill uh, all the parts. And after that, we're going to, to make it better. With, our, with a needle or any other tool for this stick or whatever we have sharp and smaller than this. You see, you know, you just feel the parts it is. You can check this out. Yes. If we see in one part it is more chocolate, we can move it, but slowly, not scratching or taking the top, the bottom part, only the top one. Okay. We want that design to be printed to our chocolate because we're going to transfer it. And yes, we have to, to work carefully because we want this part of transfer, which it is with chocolate and we're going to put it on our buttercream cake. We want it to be like hard enough you know, we want it to be hard enough when we're going to move it. So we're going to let it to chill a bit at the room temperature. Meanwhile, we're going to use this one with the remaining chocolate to make a sale. We'll use the same process method of making it. Okay. So we're just going to put it all over the surface and help 
it, the spatula angular is better than a, a straight one. It's much better. I mean, it's coming a bit outside, it's okay. When we're going to take it, it will, it will get out because it's going to be a sail. It's not has, doesn't have to be perfect. This is, is like to design your cake and all that. So we can just give a bit of movement. So look. To try to use all the chocolate. We don't have our when it is with the we can move it like this a bit so it will get straight. And this one we have it super shiny, but yeah, you cannot see it properly. So let me see if I put this gum a bit. Okay. So we have this one for the chocolate, uh, uh, for the buttercream uh, cake. And this one, now we have to wait to, we can give a shape. We cannot move it without falling the chocolate. So what we're going to do, take some shapes which you want to, okay, for example, we can use this. We can one part of something to give a shape. Okay. So we just give a shape for having a movement in our design. When we're going to have it hard, we can break it and use it directly. So we're going to take it to the fridge like this, giving a shape or weird one. So it will get hard like this in this form. So what I'm going to do is clean this part and bring the cake. Meanwhile, it's finishing. And it's uh, getting hard. The, the chocolate on the transfer sheet for, but I don't want it too hard. Okay, I want it to be a bit harder. But I want it flexible. So I'm going to clean a bit of this. Using a turntable, it's better. Going to put a bit up this image. Going to use
Can you hear me? Can you please tell me if you hear me well? Yes, we can hear you. Right. So what we're going to do is bring the cake. I'm going to use a pad to not slip off. So like this, it will be easier for me to work with. I'm going to check out this paper. It is soft enough to work with it to hand handle it. So let me see if it's falling. It's very important to not fold the chocolate. Okay. because if it's falling, it will come out. So I think very important. This is going to give too many rounds. I have to put it here to get stuck. And slowly, I'm going to pressure carefully. Because the cake is already cold. So this is very important for us, the cake to be very cold. So the scrapper. We're just going to pressure a bit, not more, that the chocolate to get on the parts where it didn't get stuck. Okay. So now what we're going to do, take it to the fridge to chill better, so we'll check it out if it is ready to take out after that the, the acetate paper when it is ready. So let's see. I think it's a different than wave design and this is chocolate and it's really nice and bright. So. This is already made, so we're going when, the, when, when it's going to be cold, this it will be very nice to, to peel off. So now we're going to take it to the fridge. We can finish to get hard. And we can check out how they are the molds, which we already put there. So I do recommend you, okay? I do recommend you to use gloves. In the, oh, it's falling. I do recommend you to use gloves when you, when you unmold the, the chocolate, because uh, with the heat of your hands, you can uh, melt the chocolate on the some parts. So, really important to use gloves in this part because the special and the sensitive work we make it already with the hands without gloves. So we just check out. Thank you. 
Here we have this like this for you to see the sign. So we have this lollipop. So we're going to check it if it is uh, coming out easily and it's ready. If we see it's not, the print is not uh, moving. So it's ready to unmold. I mean, like take the peel to peel off. This is a nice lollipop you can make. You can make this design, you can make it now. We're going to put some golden around. Like this, this form, it will be more destackable. You know, it will be like spotlighted. So this is ready. We have to keep them in the fridge, okay? We cannot keep it in the room temperature. But it's very important to let it chill now. It's not, it's not that mold. It's not enough chill. It will be very hard to unmold. So the same thing, you have to check if it is like ready to unmold. So just moving a bit the mold up. And we're pushing from top, from bottom. And it's coming perfectly. I mean, like it's no problem. The only problem with this, it is to not forget to peel out <laughs> the acetate paper because people can eat it. And it's very important to not can. So you can use like uh, something, something sharp. Take it uh, out like a knife. Before very important. So this print to come out, you see, it's coming out the print paper and the print it is already stick it on our design. If we want, for example, to make the border straight with a knife, we can just make them a bit straighter. That is try to avoid using a lot of your hands on the chocolate because it will get melt very fast, especially in uh, especially in uh, in summer. You know, you have to work very fast, and uh, and this way it will not have problem to you know to remove the and just immediately put it in the fridge. And when you're going to put it in the in a special treat box or something. Work fast and keep it in the fridge always. So these are ready. I'll free you. We're going to take them. Because even with gloves, this become very soft. Let me see where the other ones. The same procedure, we're just going to remove from the sides the mold and push from the bottom up and it's coming easily, look. There's no problem to take it out. 
it's coming perfectly. And the uh, same thing here, we move, remove, and push. And we have them ready. This, uh, if we want to make with printed, or if we want to make them with any other design, it is uh, very easy to use. Just going to take, don't forget never to take out the, the acetate paper <laughs> because it's very important uh, to be removed before sailing to, to be served. Okay, the same thing. We just look where we have a spot where it can be removed out on top and just take it out. Like this, that's perfect. So we have beautiful designs and we can uh, customize this. I mean, like you can use this design and write for your birthday treats, for wedding treats, anything. So you can have this on your table for baptist treats, for any other type of treats. So you can write instead of, for example, these ones with happy Valentine's, well, you put your name or the number, or the, the people names which they want to have their wedding. And this is very, very nice to use for customized uh, designs. So we'll check now the lollipops, how they are. Let me see. And let's see. For these ones too, we can check them before the lollipops. The charms. I'm going to put tablet cam. Let me see. Okay. You can see here. Let me put it a bit more down, like this you see it easier. So we just can take this out like this. Okay, and the print went out perfectly. Okay, it's printed on our design. And we just remove a bit carefully because the chocolate it is really soft because they are very thin but you have a, a small design to can use on your cupcakes okay to can use on your cake I have a cake with this type of heart which it is made with uh, some nice things one got broke because I move it too fast. So that's why I'm telling you, be careful. Because if not, you don't move it careful with careful, it will get break. Because it's very soft. Okay. It's very soft. If we see it is soft, we just put it in the fridge and we let it, we just move it and we let there to get stuck again and uh, let it in the fridge for a bit more. So yes, these are the lovely charms already. Oh my God, it is here. So it's already made. You can see. I'm going to take them to the fridge before it is getting more soft. It's very important as they are as thin to become and this one we're going to take them to the fridge to save them like this to not 
going to break. They are nice ones. You can see. They are really, really beautiful charm. I really like this to make these ones. Really love them. So here we have our lollipops. We're going to take these plastics of the acetate and remove them from here. I got so many soft. Okay. So here we have these ones, the same thing. We're just going to remove the size, the mold, and push from the bottom to come out. Okay, here we have one, and here we have another one. Carefully, going to take them out. Click, fold almost. <laughs> so I'll show you. Here, you can see they are ready. Are we going to take out? This is what I mean. Now you can see perfectly happy. Yeah, because it is mirror image, you cannot see it. But yes, it is happy Valentine's Day. So the same thing we have to find. It's preferable to not touch so much the chocolate part because. Uh, Okay, so you have removed, and if you want to reshape the borders, you can reshape it. Try to find a spot from where you can just take them out. You can see how easily we can take it. So we have a lovely lollipop for a summer party chocolate. So these are really, really lovely. And this one, we're going to take. Okay. Same thing, we take it out and it's remaining like this. It's already made for them. And this one, we have like three designs of lollipops, same thing. If we want to save them, we can save it uh, in special bags and save it in the fridge. We put them and like this, we have them saved and we don't have to let them uh, without, like this, we do not receive no smell, no nothing from your fridge. So to be totally safe. So you just take it out and that's all. Now here we have the sail. You can see that we have this form with one. We can break it or we can use it like this. I make it like this to can use it like in two parts. So we just take out you know, this, and yes, we can break it like this, you can see, and like this, so we have this part, we can use it, and we have the other part, we can use it for our design, you can paint this with gold, now we're going to, I'm going to show you, when I'm going to play the other one, so yes, it is very nice, I'm going to let it in the fridge, because with the room temperature, it will become soft. So I want it to be really chilled when I'm going to paint on top. So let's see the cake. Let's see the cake. Let's see it. Oh. 
it is. If it is ready. What we're going to do is to check out if it's ready to, to peel off the, the acetate paper. You can see here. You can take it from here too. Okay. Okay, we just remove it easily and we have the perfect print on it. So now we can use some, I'm going to use some golden dust of luster dust with some alcohol. Okay, this is from Angela Morrison one, it's a non-toxic one, just to, to cover the, the borders of uh, this design. Trying to not put so much because I want it to be thicker. So yes. Like this, this white part, I'm going to make it like golden. So all the imperfection, they will look perfect with this design. So nothing to be worried. When sometimes a bit of chocolate is coming out, you can use this technique of painting the edges of the, you can use one completely, but I don't like to use to cover the full cake with this. I like to cover in this form. So like this, it will be more special. So this way we don't have to think about nothing else. So we have a weird and beautiful design. In the same time, we can put two times when it's getting dry one part, you can add a bit more with another hand of paint. So we have it ready. Now you can finish it with any top or design. You can use that sails or use any sails if you want. Yes, but uh, I think I'm going to, to leave it like this for now. So I'm going to take it to the fridge. Very important with anything you work with. That is very important. To let me show you. Let's see, like this is not so bright. You need to see it better. Okay. So it's very
very important to, because we are working with chocolate, uh, to not take it out for a long time because it will melt if it is in a hot weather. So it's important to keep it in the fridge. For example, these sales, which we have here at the heart. One second. We can use our whole design and we can paint them. You can see, you can take your and just give them you know, a lovely touch of gold. Doesn't need to be perfect, but makes it special. And uh, remains beautiful. It is wrote love, but yes, uh, <laughs> it's upside down. And these things too, you can just paint them. You can paint, and paint them before, we, you can paint them once you put it on the cake. Depends of uh, how you find it easily for you. Because sometimes we're just going to run out of time. So I highly recommend you to put the design of the sales if you don't have a lot of uh, room in your fridge because they will take a lot of space, only when you're going to make the pictures or when you're going to give the cake to your customer. So yeah, you have here a really nice one. So the colors and all that, that are really beautiful. So the same thing, the time out of this, but yes, you can paint them and it will remain beautiful and different. So I'm going to put it to the fridge and answer to your questions if you guys have any. And uh, we're going to end up with us because we saw how easily we can have a special design with many <clears throat> ways of uh, using our sheets, especially the transfer one. So let me know if you want. Vicky, she's asking if the heart mold available, which one you mean, Vicky? One second, I'm going to give you. I'm going to take a look because I cannot <laughs> touch the screen. Okay, Vicky, I can't it hear was you. The, the small oh. one, it was the small hot ones that you had there? Yeah, yeah, I know, which I put it there. Yes, it is. It is available in the Sugar Art Canada site. And yes, this one too. Yes. I know, you mean this one, right? This one, mm -hmm. which are like this. Yes, they have this one with round, which you can make it like uh, small. You can put personalized, I mean, like customized your mm -hmm. design. You can make it smaller. You can ask them to put the shape of them. I mean, like you just send them the image you want, if you want a special one. But if you don't want a special one, they have many designs which already fit these molds because they have it prepared already. Uh -huh. And uh, if you want a customized one, which you, for, for example, if you have a wedding or if you want to, for a customer which wants to make a birthday special or whatever, um, you just can tell them that you need to fit your design in this type of molds because they have it there and they have it in heart and they have it in round. And okay. uh, you can use the same one 
with chocolate and you can use the same one with isomalt. The class I gave with isomalt uh, like two months ago, we use these molds too and they give very, very nice designs. I don't know if you guys saw it on my page. There are cakes which has the isomalt design can be stuck it on your, I mean, like you stick it on your cake uh -huh. or it can be put it on your cupcakes or any treats. If you make cakesicles and you instead of using only sprinkles, you can add the topper in this way. So it person, uh, customized, so it will be a really nice way of uh, um, spotlight your uh, dessert. So you have this one, I, actually all of them, you have them there. These ones, all the lollipops, which I showed you, actually you enter because they have a special part with molds and products and um, they're really nice. I really love this one and the heart one because it gives a lot of, um, I mean, like uh, diversity for making in, a, in desserts. You can use it for your uh, top cupcakes or you can use it for your cakes. I made one which I, I don't know if you guys saw it. It is black with some hearts with like a puzzle, which is stuck on the cake. It uh -huh. gives a nice, it's very, 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 very beautiful. And it's chocolate and it's chocolate and you can make it with chocolate. You can make it with isomal. So it's very easy to use. Yes, and this one you can use it for merengue too. I mean, like you just pipe your merengue on top and you have the print down. So it will perfectly fit. You can see, you just buy it here and you are going to have the same size of merengue. The uh, kiss is one, you know, the same, the same uh, size and uh, all of them with the print, it is just going to tuck it out and it will come perfectly. I mean, like, I really love this mold. Very really, uh, helpful for many other things. Any other questions? Let me know. One second, I think this got cut. Can you hear me? I don't know why this got cut. Can you guys hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Oh, okay, now I can hear you. <laughs> Any other question? Any no, doubts? I'm, no, I'm, I got it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so any doubts you guys might be having after this when you go in, many of you are not uh, now joining us. They will see it after in the uh, offline version. Uh, but any doubts you guys might be having when you see this, including you, you just uh, send me a DM on my Instagram. Okay, so I'm going to try to answer as fast as I can. So, but yes, it is following the, the, the steps I show you and you know, all that, I think you'll not have problems. But yes, the most important thing it is that you guys, that you guys uh, let well to be chill your chocolate when it is already put on your transfer sheet. It's very important that the transfer to be made correctly has to be very chill. If you just peel a bit and you see it's coming out, the design, you have to let it more. So never, it's the, the most important part it is about a, a part of the temperature to be warm and all that. My God, I don't want this fall. Uh, part of this, the, the most important part it is to, to let it chill well, okay? to get it uh, perfect printed on, on your chocolate. That's the most important step. Anyway, really thankful for you guys for being here. So um, nice having you and hope to see you in a um, new class.
which you're going to prepare soon. So that's all. Thank you. Have a lovely uh, day. Here we have going to have a lovely evening already. It's almost, um, I mean, like 7, 8 p.m. Yeah, it's 7, it's 7 20 p.m. Um, I think there, yeah, I think there it is. Um, I think there it is still uh, noon or something a little bit more late, right? A little after one. A little bit after one, yeah. You're preparing for lunch and all that, right? Or you guys already have it. Here we, in Spain, we take it around 2 o'clock, 2 p.m. But yes, um, now we're preparing for dinner. <laughs> so oh. that's all. <laughs> and nice having you. Thank you very much. And uh, like I said, uh, any doubts? you know, my account. So I, I'm, I will be really glad to, to help you and clear it up. Thank you so much. Thank you, lovely. Have a lovely day. You too. Kisses.